I'm gonna be Colonel Thaddeus Thibodeau the whole weekend. Uh oh, that's a good idea. Ahoy! Ahoy. Oh is this the first footage of us in bed in a bed together? No, I don't think so. I think so. Don't make it weird. I think so. We're officially in Atlanta and guess whose birthday it is? Oh god. <laughs> it's Grant's birthday. I got in later than he did and we just went out to dinner and Grant got one of his favorite foods in Atlanta. It's like this Cuban sandwich. It was at this really good place. And right now, to celebrate Grant's birth, it's actually a very timely show to watch. Just came in the door, put the stuff down, I brushed my teeth, now we're gonna watch Dark. Oh, do you want your surprise? Sure. I already gave Grant his gift, but I got him another surprise. It's one of his favorite things. Can you guess what it is? Oh no! It's an assorted group of sour candies. Yeah. It's got. Anyway, happy birthday. This is gonna be the longest long weekend of our lives. <laughs> Look at those 80s babies. Everything is now 33. Every 33 years, I repeat myself. Mankind has always been puzzled about his true origin. Osama's bro. You know the words of this song? Yes. Wow. Today we're kind of having like a chill explore day and we just arrived in the little five points because there's a bunch of like shops and just kind of like random stuff. We yeah. Walk around, see explore. what's what. We kind of wanted to do like the Coke Museum or like the aquarium because those are like the two big like tourist things here. But I think we're gonna try to maybe do one of them tomorrow. I don't know. Bundle up. Let's get going. It's freezing outside. I've got my abominable snowman sweater on, another shirt, and my big gray jacket coat. Put that hood up. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, it's like a really old paper doll set. Work it, girl. I didn't bring my Leanne's scammer jacket. Luckily, there was a whole rack of them. All right, this is the great beret off. I've been abandoned, but this is option two. Light blue, baby blue. And the gray is the last option. I think it's like the best for the coat, right? We're doing all the boots. All right, well. <laughs> Don't ask that la fromage. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so we got some stuff. Mainly we got boots. And berets. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> what was the store called again? I don't know. It's like clothing warehouse, I thought. Yeah, it was just this big place and they had tons of boots and just like a lot of like vintage stuff. And I have been on the quest, which I've talked about this before, for white boots for a very long time. And Grant found some boots and I found the beret I was looking for because I've been wanting a beret ever since they're kind of like, I don't know, back in style and it's also really cold here. So I got the baby blue one and I got the gray one. Grant kind of pressured me into the baby blue one. Grant is like the best and the worst person to shop with because he's like, you need that. Like you have to have, you gotta get both. <laughs> the ladies okay? are there like dropping the prices like crazy. If, you, if you're shopping for like vintage clothes and you find something that fits well, you should buy it. It's not that expensive and they're cowboy boots. They don't go out of style. Okay. They last forever, they're in good shape. Like, so that brings me and we got a fine price, a fine price on three so, pairs of boots. I got two pairs of boots. These are kind of like a, I guess they were like a, like a cream color at one time and now they're like a gray. They're not, they're worn in so they're like already stretched out and comfy. And then I also got these, which are green boots. <laughs> Grant and the girl that was working with us definitely talked me into it. When do I need green boots? Literally never but they talked me into them. 
you're gonna find a way to work these in. These are nice boots. Whenever I'm guacamole for Halloween yeah. for 2018, these green boots, they're gonna come in handy. This beret looks fabu on you. <laughs> My arm is already tired. <laughs> your arm's already tired. Yeah. Are you gonna wear your boots tonight? Yeah, of course. You are for real? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh? Well, tonight we're going out to dinner with some of the people that Grant would potentially work with here in Atlanta if he decides to take that job. What's going to happen, Grant? I don't know. My destiny is in your hands. I'm going to bring you to this frigid, frigid tundra. <laughs> <laughs> you better not. The frigid tundra. I was like, I don't like Atlanta. It's too cold. But he said that it's not usually like this. No, it would be normally this time of year. It would be like in the... 50s during the day, 50s and sunny. It's a cold front. I mean, it's, it's so cold windy. in cold in Houston. Yeah, it's freezing in Houston right now so too. It's it's going around. Oh yeah, Grant. When I first when I picked him up, I don't know when he picked me up. He said that he was gonna be Colonel Thaddeus Thibodeau all weekend. That has not happened. It's hard to keep up that voice the whole time. You haven't done it even once. Well, I'm doing it right now. You better get used to if you're trying to um, move me to this bridge of tundra. <laughs> this bridge of tundra. <laughs> the north has invaded Atlanta again with their frigid temperatures. <laughs> you want to go down and look at the thing and see if there's something you, you want to You want me to wear my green boots to dinner? Yeah. Green boots, pink dress? Yeah, everyone would be like, you are. Here's my fiesta of a wife. <laughs> She's she, from Texas. She's seven. She dresses herself now. <laughs> you are a vision. <laughs> oh, that was really cute. Oh. What's this place called? Buckhead Diner. Buck. I can't see this. They have a cool neon sign there. Like. Buckhead Diner, according to one of my dear sweet Twitter followers, is my aesthetic, and Grant seems to agree. Hello. Grant's home, he got the bacon. Grant is documenting the love of his life. The blue cheese chips smells like hot vomit. Woo! It is a bright and sunshiny day. And luckily, it's not as cold as it was yesterday. And it was confirmed from outside sources that it is unseasonably cold. I had my doubts. Confirmed that Grant's in fact not lying. I did I didn't really think you were lying. I just thought like maybe you're remembering it better than it was. We just ate at Buckhead Diner. It was just like a cute place all around and I really liked the music too. <laughs> it was like nonstop 80s. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> and that's just what I'm into. Which I never really felt like I was ever gonna like truly like 80s music. I don't know what happened to me. In the past year I just became like a happy Zadie music person. Happy I, I happen to you. I like 80s music. Grant happened. You made me a happy 80s music person. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, right now we are on the way to the world of Coke. I felt like we needed to do at least one touristy thing. The last time we were here, we didn't. And then after that, we may or may not be doing something else really fun. We haven't decided. Right now we're jumping into some traffic. Good old Atlanta traffic. Traffic is actually worse here than it is in Houston. I want to wear my hat, but at the same time, I really like how my hair turned out today. I got a new wand. I talked all about it on Instagram stories and Snapchat, and I had to replace my Beach Waver S1, and I ended up getting the 1.25, and I'm really on the fence about it. I am, however, wearing my new boots, the like gray ones, but they look different in different lights. They look really bright white right now, but that's, that is not the truth. Do not believe it. And I feel like a different person. This is like the new Leanne. Like these boots and my scammer jacket, <sighs> unstoppable. Boots no beret. Every time I talk about wearing the beret, <laughs> Grant is like, she's from France. <laughs> but this cold weather is really destroying my skin. I'm getting like a full body chap going on. <laughs> kind of disgusting. <laughs> I'm gross, okay? You like it. A full body chap. <laughs> I'm about to try a whole new kind of Coke. It's green. 
whenever Grant asks for it, he goes, can we have Coke Lives? <laughs> about to puke after the tasting room at the World of Coke. We tried just about all of them and I don't usually drink Coke, but we tried a lot of different flavors and it was good. And a lot of people on Twitter said that the Beverly was like the worst thing that ever happened to their mouths. And so of course we had to try it. First we watched a couple of uh, people come through and try it and they're all just like, mm, like I'm gonna die immediately. And when I tried it, it wasn't that bad. Like it was not immediate like, they were worse gag. Ones. I mean, it was like very, very distinctively flavored. Yeah. I, mean, like, I don't know why anyone would just drink it for fun. It wasn't what I would call good at all. No. Like the first taste was good. It was really subtle. And then after that, it was just a really bitter aftertaste. Like grapefruit, but kind of worse. Didn't really like it. So, like I said, now that we feel like we're about to puke, we're gonna go up to this spinning restaurant called Sundial at the top of the Westin downtown. We were thinking about going ice skating, and I still like that idea, but it is super cold outside. And well, we can always go tomorrow, it'll be warmer tomorrow. And Grant said it's too cold. That is the Bank of America building, which is the tallest building in the South. Tallest building in the South? All right, change of plans. We decided that Sundial is actually not worth it. They were it. trying to charge us $25 for to park. Ballet. And we just really wanted to run up there like for a little bit and not like have dinner and everything. I don't know. Just wanted a quick julep. We just decided that wasn't really worth it. So Indeed. we're going to be going to the, what is it, Bookhouse Pub? Bookhouse Pub. It's a Twin Peaks inspired bar or themed bar. Yeah. But it also came up whenever I looked up Tiki Bars. There's a lot of places that are closed today. It's Sunday. And Grant said that they have a lot of different laws here. <laughs> I'm always weirded out in other places when there's like liquor and like a CVS. Yeah. Like, or it, it, what are you people? No, in, in LA, they're in, in like Target. Yeah. They have like display. It was like a displays in like the home goods section of like Fireball and like all these like. If you just bottles. like, I don't know, I guess I just, it just seems so out of place. It's unseemly. Me. It just seems, it's just. Think so, of the children. It's so unseemly. <laughs> I don't understand why, but I guess it's just if you're not used to it, you're not used to it. Oh, I remember driving over here last time. Yeah. Atlanta has a look. I feel like Houston does not have a look. It's just Industry. random. Oh yeah, so like I was gonna tell you, the one thing that kind of irritated me and saying this followed by our parking comments makes us sound like total like cheapskates, but we had- Oh, you, cookout. You had to take pictures before you went into the this one little attraction in the Coke first floor called the vault. And we took some really cute pictures because there's like a little like professional photographer there. And whenever you leave through the gift shop you can purchase the photos or get them or whatever when we 
walked up to the lady, she said, just to have them emailed to you and not printed, it was $35. <laughs> and it was three pictures. She said that like laughing too. Yeah, well, cause I was cracking up. I was like, seriously? <laughs> but, cause I thought maybe I've heard you wrong. Maybe that means for like a gold plated album because that's crazy, right? And they were really cute and I wanted them cause we didn't take any other pictures, but oh well. Thanks for the memories, Coca-Cola. So, book house Hello? was fun. Grant's on the phone. And now we're no, going out. We're coming outside. outside. We're coming outside. What's the dinner place called? Eclipse de Luna. Eclipse de Luna. Oh, I miss Luna. My mom sent me pictures and apparently Luna met my little sister's new dog, Pepper. And I haven't met Pepper. <laughs> Man walks down the street and says, Why am I sure to touch a